in 2004, China initiated the Lunar Exploration Mission and started the research and development of the Chang'e Lunar Probe. In February 2019, Chinese President Xi Jinping met representatives of space scientists and engineers who participated in the research and development of the Chang'e 4 mission at the Great Hall of the People in Beijing. He pointed out that the Chang'e 4 mission, by adhering to independent, collaborative and open innovations, has realized the first ever patrol and exploration on the far side of the moon by a human spacecraft and engraved Chinese footprints there for the first time. She said it is another vivid practice of exploring to establish a new institution that can pool the resources of the whole country. In 2013, the Chang'e 3 lunar probe completed China's first soft landing on the lunar surface. Then there were heated discussions about where its successor, the Chang'e 4 lunar probe, was going to explore. Going to the far side of the moon sounded like a mission impossible to many people. Due to the equal rotation and revolution periods of the moon, as well as the tidal locking effect, the far side of the moon always faces away from Earth. Because of this, any human spacecraft on the far side of the moon cannot send or receive data directly from Earth. To solve this problem, scientists and researchers decided to build a bridge of data communication between the Earth and the moon. After countless experiments, breakthroughs on technical bottlenecks of the relay satellite were achieved. In May 2018, the relay satellite named Che Chao was successfully launched. The Chang'e 4 probe's journey to the far side of the moon became less impossible as a result. A Long March 3B rocket carrying the Chang'e 4 lunar probe blasted off from the southwest China's Xichang at 2.23 a.m. on December 8, 2018. On January 3, 2019, Chang'e 4 successfully landed in the Van Karnam crater in the South Pole Aitken Basin on the far side of the moon after 26 days of flight, traveling some 380,000 kilometers. Soon, Chang'e 4 sent back the first photo of the moon's far side captured by a human spacecraft. With the assistance of the relay satellite Chichao, the rover Yu-2 and the lander of the Chang'e 4 probe took photos of each other. China announced days later that the Chang'e 4 mission was a complete success. On November 24, 2020, China launched the Chang'e 5 spacecraft, carried by a Long March 5 rocket, to collect and return samples from the moon. Chang'e 5 is one of the most complicated and challenging missions in China's aerospace history. The Chang'e 5 mission is expected to last more than 20 days. The Chang'e 5 probe is to become the first of the Chang'e family to return back to Earth. Chang'e 
推动构建人类命运共同体，贡献更多中国智慧、中国方案、中国力量。我们韩天人积淀形成了探源的精神，就是追逐梦想，勇于探索，协同攻坚，合作共赢。总书记对探源工程的关心、支持，给了我们极大的动力。我们将以人类命运共同体的理念，指导我们月球探测的国际合作。